Okay, so I'm going to try some more of the easy repairs, and what I got is a new wireless remote clicker, and the auction, I got it off eBay, and the auction that I got it with it came with a key blank, and also one of these carbon, I don't know what the hell these things are called, just call it, they call it a key clip, okay, but this thing is useless because it does not fit in the little hole for the clicker. So you have to go and add one of these key rings, which is what most people are used to seeing. So it kind of makes this clip pretty useless. I mean, it's handy if you want to disconnect your key from your clicker, but I don't know. It just doesn't fit that well, and I'm kind of like, whatever. So, in order to program, you have to shut the door and insert the key, not turn it on, and then we hold the unlock, and then turn on, off, on, off, let go, and then the locks will cycle, which they did, I don't know if you can hear it, and then we hold both buttons for up to five minutes, and when they're programmed, the locks will cycle again. So here goes the wait. There it went, right there. Not bad. So, turn the key back to on position. Off, and you're out of programming mode. So now I should hit unlock, lock, boom. So simple, I'm so happy that worked. That's a, that's a big deal, you know? I mean, people are not gonna buy a car that don't have the damn remote to lock and unlock the doors, including me. So I'm sitting here putting that ring on and accidentally hit the panic button it work. I'm sitting trying to figure out how to shut it off. I have the key in ignition to turn it on. <laughs> hey, at least it works, I guess.